Hi, Christian here and welcome to another fly tying tutorial. Today I'm gonna tie this one. A sand eel type fly or a desert sand eel uh, fly that I uh, quite like. Uh, and the idea for this fly came from my uh, Scottish friend, Billy Scott. Uh, you can find him in, on Instagram, he's uh, called Teal Blue. It's a really nice account and uh, I had a chat with him uh, and he told me about uh, one of his flies I saw on his profile that's called Shannon's Terra and there's one that's called Robbie's Terra. Uh, they are really nice, one black and one is uh, blue-white. That gave me the idea for, for a more Danish version with some, but some, um, to, uh, what's it called, for some uh, green version, is that a sand hill pattern? Um, of course, I didn't have the materials that he used, so I was uh, busy shopping. It took a while for me to get the materials, but now I think I got something I can use to make this one uh, quite easy. And uh, I also got to use my my doggy cock uh, that's on this one, which uh, let's see, um, will look looks really nice. Um, so credit goes to. Uh, Billy, this is one. This one is for you, and uh, you should check out his profile. It's really nice. Uh, the materials for this one: uh, hook, it's the light stinger size six from Avix. I use some flash a little bit. Haven't quite decided if this is a good idea or not, but uh, flash for the tail and some uh, UV pearl polar chenille in olive long fiber chenille and uh, been quite fond of this lately the uh, crystal and trilobal hackle fibers this one is the golden olive one it's pick uh, fits perfect with the colors and some jungle cock uh, yeah. and i got some uh, urine urine really nice feathers here uh, i'm gonna use three of these Tool for the tail, uh, and I'm gonna align them uh, back to back. And in between those, I'm gonna put another Ewing uh, streamer patch grizzly feather in between the, the two green ones. And I'm gonna use a small green one up here as the front hackle on the fly as well. And, uh, and I'm gonna use some thread, some uh, some black, and some orange. And that's about it. Quite easy and. Uh, Looks really nice. Uh, dying to try it. I even made uh, made a small version uh, of it um, just to see. So I can make it a small version as well. Yeah. So without further ado, let's get tying. Okay. So this is the one we're aiming for. I haven't come up with a n name yet, but I'll come up, come up with something. Uh, I'll start by the hook. Which was the light stinger size six, and some and some black thread. And I'm first of all, I'm gonna take uh, two of these really nice ones from Ewing, nice good color, uh, and uh, one of these uh, from Ewing as well. Uh, uh, I have some grizzly, and I'm gonna I'm cheat a bit. I prepared them in advance. I'm gonna, gonna take two feathers like this of the same length and size just next to each other and I'm gonna place this one in between and I'm gonna take the three two uh, olive ones and uh, place them with their back to back or back against back and the grizzly in between. I'm gonna place them on top. I'll just go anti-clockwise with my bobbin. See if you're satisfied. Just give it me. I'm gonna tie this in to make it even more doable. Yeah, I'm gonna then I'm gonna take some. Uh, Then it's time for for this one. 
the crystalline trilobal fiber, fibers in uh, in golden olive. And I'm gonna take a bit of this. Really nice material I've grown quite fond of. I must say, I'm just gonna remove the, the end down here. Tie that in. And move forward. When I'm ready for I'm just gonna go all the way in front. Then I'm gonna just move my way slowly up the shank while I'm pulling back the materials. It's a nice, nice color to it. This one, the same as the, as the feather. At, le at least that was what I was, I was aiming for when I chose this material. Well, it's about a centimeter or so. Not more than that, because you need a room for two more materials. So I'm just gonna lock this down. That. Tie that in. And before I move on, I'm just gonna cut some of the length of the material all the way around because I, f I think it's a bit too long to be honest. So I'm just gonna all the way around. It gets too fluffy in my opinion if it. This stuff and uh, this material, and it's very, yeah, floating stuff. It can be seen from space. So now there's less of it, at least I hope there is. I just cut, cut a little bit off the length. Then it's time for this uh, polar chenille uh, in olive. And uh, it's like this, this stuff. Just gonna tie it in up here. Here with this stuff is to that it'll make it wet. That's the same color as the tail as well. It's gonna make a more transparent look of the fly. Just gonna go over two wraps with this, no more than that. That's maybe one. Two wraps. And I'm just gonna end it. And get rid of the rest. See now, now I have a about half a centimeter up here for heckle, and the heckle is. Uh, it's also uh, this one, these feathers down here. And I prepared one in advance like this. I'm gonna tie it in from the tip. So I'm just gonna prepare it.
some heck of chicken going on here. Whatever it's called. Let's pull down, pull back the fibers. These uh, heckles, heckle feathers are gonna blend in with the pool I assume I just, I just added. And I'm trying to make room for some, some red uh, thread up in front. As you can see, there is on, uh, there's actually a lot more. On Billy's uh, fly, the Rocky's terror and Shannon's terror. So, I'd say that's about it. Then it's time for some um, some of this stuff. The jumpy cock. Put them both at the same time. And I want them down along the side. A couple of eyes of the sand eel. Yeah. And I am satisfied with that, so I'm just gonna cut off the, the stems here. Really secure them. And then it's time for the for the whip finish. It's quite fast this fly. And uh, I'm just gonna take some orange thread to to build the head. See, I'm not a, not familiar with using jungle uh, cock. That's for sure. But uh, yeah, I think you get the idea. There you have a senior fly inspired by Scottish Billy Scott. Billy Scott. And his uh, Shannon's Terra and Robbie's Terra. Uh, Damn, that jumpy cock won't, won't uh, sit where it's supposed to, but uh, looks fine on the other side. It's typical. Ah, oh, well, uh, until next time, uh, please leave a comment and subscribe, and I will see you next time.